Hello and welcome back. And today we are going to be looking at uh, image carousel. So uh, let's take a look at the example what I'm talking about. So we're going to be creating this uh, image carousel where you're going to give this effect of uh, having uh, these uh, tiles uh, scrolling uh, horizontally, where it's basically a carousel effect. And the center tile is going to be uh, zoomed in and other two tiles are going to be shown uh, partially visible on around the edges okay so um, uh, so that's what we're going to be building today and uh, for this video we are going to be creating a, uh, a material app um, in the uh, uh, a, a, as a part of like you know my app and then we're going to create uh, this carousel um, as a widget uh, so we're going to create a separate file and include that inside this okay so uh, let's go ahead and get started so I'm going to create a uh, uh, material app here like so and uh, this material app is going to have home uh, so let's create our home and uh, home is going to be a new file um, called Carol. So, okay, and um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to import material and uh, now we're going to create a stateful widget here. So stateful widget and uh, carousel, that's what we're going to call it. And for now, we're going to simply say text hello. And uh, let's import our carousel class, so uh, our carousel widget. Like so, and we're going to initialize that like that. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do next is basically whatever we create in this carousel is going to be initialized as a scaffold. So this is going to be initialized as a scaffold. Okay, and this scaffold is going to have a body, and um, uh, this body uh, can be anything right now. Okay. Like so. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, uh, in one of the uh, last videos, I talked about like you know how you can uh, have material app and then you have your uh, pages uh, inside the material app. So that's what we're doing here. We are creating our main uh, material app right here. Uh, this is going to be our main controller uh, app, and uh, further down, all the other. Um, pages are going to be shown as a scaffold uh, within that so these are going to be child pages okay so uh, that's what this is mm, okay so let's go ahead and uh, populate this so we're going to create use page controller so let's create a page controller call it underscore page controller and um, then we're going to have like an index so current page we want to know where, where we are um, now we're going to initialize in state and uh, gonna put some initialization in the init state uh, for example page controller is going to be initialized there so page controller and what we're going to do is we're going to say initial page it takes an index so it's going to be the current page and uh, keep page false and viewport fraction is 0.5 so how much viewport uh, like you know the area that we're gonna show that's what this is so there we go all right once we have uh, uh, saved all that our init state of work is done so let's go ahead and move into our scaffold and uh, this scaffold uh, we're gonna have body as center okay and uh, center is gonna have child as container and this is what a container is gonna basically provide a page view and um, 
we're going to use builder class for the page view this is for individual pages of the page controller and um, builder basically takes a few parameters like on page change so it gives you like the page value uh, so that's what we're going to use to set state and basically set our current page to that new value that it has changed to so current page is equal to the new page value okay and uh, then we're gonna say controller that's controlling this page view is underscore page controller and item builder is basically uh, Gonna provide an item builder and this is where we're gonna create a method called animated item builder and we're gonna supply our index into that okay so let's create this function so we can extract out um, some of the other details so and index all right so uh, this this item builder is gonna build uh, these items and that's what we're gonna do here item builder inside animated item builder so inside animated item builder we can actually return an animated builder okay and this animated builder takes animation on underscore page controller first of all then um, then it takes a builder that supplies our context in which it's running and a child um, so the current child that it has so we're gonna take that and um, we are simply gonna first of all we're gonna define a value with one and we're gonna say if page controller dot position dot has dimensions okay so if that is true we're gonna say value is equal to page controller dot page minus index okay and uh, then value we're going to change the value to be one negative so one minus value dot absolute times 0 0.5 and we're going to clamp that with 0, 0.0 as minimum value and 1.0 has max value so it's going to Keep it contained and then we're going to return center and this center is going to have child size box we're going to use size box here we're going to give it height so we're going to give curves so just animate that ease out dot transform value times 300 and width is going to be curves dot ease out dot transform value times 250 okay and we're going to give child as child so this is going to be the size box that's going to look like so it's going to size into uh, this uh, size basically ease out into this size uh, with this width and height all right now for the animated box child uh, we're gonna say we want to show a container and uh, margin for that is going to be a constant which is inside all about 10 points and uh, and color we're gonna alternate colors so we're gonna say index if it's even number we're gonna say colors dot light green uh, let's say light blue and otherwise we're gonna say colors is equal to zero question mark I forgot so colors dot light We changed our color a bit. Um, what did I miss here? 
why are you not liking it? Um, what? Okay. Sorry, this is color, not child. Child is going to be a Flutter logo. There we go. Okay, that's better. All right, so with that, uh, we are ready to run our app. So let's go ahead and run this. It's going to look a bit different because we chose a different, uh, different colors for our tiles, but uh, I think we should be okay. So let's go ahead and build and uh, hex code build just started. I'll give it a give it a second. Uh, build is done, and now the app is gonna relaunch itself, and um, soon we should see a uh, page view. All right. So, reason you're only seeing this uh, <laughs> this is this is funny. So reason you you're only seeing this thing because the uh, default color for a Flutter logo is blending well in the light blue so let's change this to purple because uh, there we go so that's actually better so there we go we have our uh, carousel image carousel effect and uh, you can utilize it to basically populate your own content you can fill it more space and stuff like that so uh, so yeah you can uh, just play around with this but uh, this is a good start um, Alright, so hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video uh, and uh, like this video. So um, uh, this is it for this one and thanks again for watching.